For me, the first thing that jumps out is this big, giant, almost balloon-looking thing full of air. This is the swim bladder. To keep the air in so I can get a good look at the swim bladder outside of the body, I'm just going to use my hands to separate the membranes that hold everything together. I'll only use a scalpel if I really need to. camera overheated. Looks like we're going to have to fast forward a little bit. Now that I've got the swim bladder separated from the inside of the body, I'm going to come down here and pinch to keep the air inside as I remove it. Wait a minute, how did this swim bladder even get full of air? Any guesses? Thanks for the hint, high school marine biology student. When the salmon needs more air in its swim bladder, it will rise to the surface of the water and take a gulp with its mouth. Salmon don't use their swim bladders for breathing. So why do they have them? I want you to take some time to think about why in the world a fish would need a balloon inside of its body. Let's try something out. Why do they need a swim bladder? To float. Instead of using their fins all the time, having it full of air helps them to stay higher up in the water. But if they release some of that air, they can sink lower 